in lesson 11, you're going to start to investigate volume and how to calculate it and volume with fractional edges as well. So in the opening exercise of your packet, we're going to look at um, volume in general. So the volume formula is length times width times height. And they want to know if how many 1 inch by 1 inch by 1 inch cubes will fit into this figure. Well, you have 10 inches total on the bottom. So 10 10 inch cubes will fit here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, and then there'd be four that fit here, one, two, three, four. So 10 times four is gonna give you 40 on your bottom layer. And then it's six blocks high, okay? So really, 10 times four times six, 10 times four is 40, and 40 times six, 240 one inch by one inch by one inch cubes are going to fit into that, okay? So in this one, I'm going to do the same thing. I have eight cubes that would fit on the bottom, five that would fit um, the width-wise. So eight times five is going to be 40, and then you have to do 40 times 12. And I'm just following length times width times height. So eight times five times 12, eight times five is 40, and 40 times 12 is going to give you 480 cubes Okay, that fit into this figure, okay? Um, this one is going to hold more, okay? How many more cubes? It's actually going to hold twice as much. 480 minus 240 is going to give you, this cube holds 240 more cubes, okay? So we're going to go on to do some more investigating here, okay? Now I'm going to show you two methods and I'm going to ask you about the methods and test you on them when you come in to school. There are two methods to calculate volume. I guess I should have said method one, not methods one. The English teachers would not approve of that. Okay, so method one and method two. Okay, a box of the same dimensions as the prism in the opening exercise will be used to ship miniature dice whose side lengths have been cut in half. The dice are one half by one half by one half inch cubes. They're no longer one inch by one inch by one inch. How many dice of this size can fit in the box? So I'm going to show you two different ways to do it. Method one, I am going to take the mini um, cubes or the mini dice's dimensions and I'm going to find the dimension of one die, the volume of one die. One half times one half is one fourth. One times one is one, two times two is four, and I'm going to multiply that by a half. One times one is one, four times two is eight. So the volume of one die is eight, so, or one eighth. So I can find the volume of this whole figure pretending that one inch by one inch by one inch cubes would be in there. So volume is length times width times height. So I'm going to multiply 10 times 4 times 6. 10 times 4 is 40. 40 times 6 is 240. Then I can say, okay, well the whole thing if it was one inch by one inch by one inch cubes is 240. So now I am going to take that and times it by 8 because the volume of one of the die is one eighth, okay? So I'm going to multiply that by eight, and the answer would be 1,920, okay? So we first found the volume of the mini cube, or the mini dice, and took that and multiplied it by the actual volume of one inch by one inch by one inch. The second way you could do this, since it is one half length, width, and height, you can take each one of these and multiply it by 2. 10 times 2 is 20. 4 times 2 is 8. 6 times 2 is 12. Because you know if you have 10, okay, 10 one inch cubes fit in there. So if you had one, one half inch cubes, you would be able to fit 20 there. And then you'd be able to fit 8 here and 12 here. So now your volume would be length times width times height, which would be 20 times 8 times 12. 20 times 8 is 160 times 12 
1920. Two different ways to do the same exact thing. Okay, let's try another one. I'm going to ignore the direction, slightly ignore the directions, kind of change them. So I hope you go with me. I'm going to take this figure and we're trying to figure out how many one fourth cubes it's going to take to fill there. And I'm going to do it in two methods. Method one, method two. So method one was to find the volume of one of the cubes. So I'm going to do length. Remember cubes have the same length, width, and height. That is 1 over 64. 4 times 4 is 16. 16 times 4 is 64. Now I'm going to actually find the area of the whole thing, which is volume is length times width times height. I'm going to do 1 and 1 half times 1 times 3 and 3 fourths. And I'm actually going to change them to decimals. These easily change to decimals. Then I'm going to pop my calculator out. I'm going to do 1.5 times 1 times 3.75. And I get 5.625. Now, if I was going to find the volume of how many 1 inch by 1 inch by 1 inch cubes would fit in this rectangular prism, I would get 5.625, but I'm not asking to fill this with 1 inch by 1 inch by 1 inch. I want 1 fourth of an inch by a fourth of an inch by a fourth of an inch. So I have to take 5.625 and multiply it by 64 to figure out how much, how many 1 fourth by 1 fourth by 1 fourth cubes would fit in there. And when I do do that, the answer is 360 one fourth by one fourth by one fourth cubes would have fit in there. The second way to do that would be just to take each one of these and times it by four. So 1.5 times four is six. One times four is four. 3.75 times four is 15. So now volume is length times width times height. Volume is 6 times 4 times 15. 6 times 4 is going to give you 24. And 24 times 15 is going to give you the volume of 1 fourth by 1 fourth by 1 fourth. Here is 360 cubes are going to fit in there. Let's do one more and then you're done with your flipped classroom for today. Um, let's see if I can Okay, I'm going to do this one. I'm going to do this one because the um, these are not easily changed into um, decimals. So we're going to force you to work with some fractions. I'm again going to show the two ways. Method one, method two. Okay, the first one you find the volume, they're trying to figure out in this one how many one-third inch cubes fit in there. So I'm going to take one-third times one-third times one-third and I get one twenty-seventh. The volume of one tiny cube that would fit in here is one twenty-seventh. So now I can find the volume of the whole thing. But before I do this, I'm going to take these fractions and make them fractions um, greater than 1. Um, 3 times 1 is 3, plus 1 is 4 thirds. 3 times 4 is 12, plus 2 is 14 thirds. So for the volume, I am going to do length times width times height. So I'm going to do 9 times 4 thirds times 14 thirds. And please have your calculator out when you're doing your math homework. 9 times 4 is 36. 36 times 14 equals 504. 1 times 3 is 3. 3 times 3 is 9. So 504 divided by 9 is 56. The regular 1 inch by 1 inch by 1 inch cubes would be 56. 
but now you have to times that by how much volume one third by one third by one third would take. So you do 56 times 27 and you get 1,512 cubes would fit in there that are one third by one third by one third. Or the second method, you can take each one of these and times it by three. Nine times three would be 27. Four thirds times three would be 12 divided by three, which would be four. 14 thirds times three would be 42 over three, which would be 14. So now your volume, length times width times height, we tripled everything. We're gonna do 27 times four times 14, and we should get 1,512. 27 times four times 14, good, 1,512. Okay, the last one I'm gonna show you today, just a preview of what's coming. A rectangular prism has a volume of 34.224 cubic meters. The height of the box is 3.1 meters. The length is 2.4. Write an equation that relates the volume to the length, width, and height. So let's do this. Volume is length times width times height. So if the volume is 34.224, I'm gonna substitute it in my equation. The length is 2.4. The width, I don't know, but the height is 3.1. So this is an equation. We've been working very hard on these. So I'm gonna actually times 2.4 times 3.1, and I get 7.44 times W, okay? So now I have to get W all by itself to be able to calculate the width. So I'm gonna undo multiplication with division, and whatever you do to one side, you must do to the other. So I'm going to take out my calculator and do 34.224 divided by 7.44. Ooh, sorry. 34.224 divided by 7.44, and I get 4.6 as my width. So now I'm actually going to substitute it back in and see if I'm right. 2.4 times 4.6 times 3.1 equals 34.224. I hope you've enjoyed the lesson today. Thank you so much for watching.